Hello, Harry Potter fans. Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel, where we are a community of collectors. If you are new to this channel, welcome. If you like what you see, we would love to have you join the Potter Collector community. Just click on the subscribe button below. The wand feature for today is my Pottermore wand, which is hazel with a dragon heart string, 13 and a quarter inches, and it has reasonably supple flexibility. This wand was custom made for me by the people at Windermere Wand Makers. You can check them out in the description below. Today's video is one that received a lot of requests, and that is the Target exclusive 10 inch Hedwig Funko Pop. As you can see, she is gigantic. Number 70 of the line, exclusive to Target. Here is the back of her box, which shows some of the other Funko Pops that are in this series. In my last video, when I was searching for the four inch mini wands at Target stores, I saw a lot of these Hedwigs in store. So she's still available at the moment. She is also available to order online. I will put a link down below to where you can purchase her on the Target website, as well as where you can search your local store to see if they have her in stock. One of the stores had 10 of them. She retails for $29.99. I can't get her open. Behind her in the box is this background card, which is the new design of the Harry Potter Funko Pops, this white and gray wizarding newspaper theme. There are a few things that you can read. Most of it is just gibberish, like contact the ministry if you have any information, and then it has an article, but it's all like a different language. Still very cool looking though. Hedwig, along with the other Funko Pops, come with this double hedge of protection. All right, my initial thoughts, she is very, very precious. Unlike real owls who can move their head almost all the way around, Hedwig can move her head 360 degrees in any direction. You can have her looking head on or to the side or to the back. The back is kind of weird though. <laughs> it makes it really nice to be able to pose her any way that you want. This is kind of nice. If it's kind of halfway towards the back, it's like she's looking like this. Very nice sculpt work. She actually looks like she could be soft and have feathers on her head and her chest and her back. Nice simple paint job, white and black. Her feet are a different color than the rest of her body. They used more of a glossy paint as opposed to more of a matte paint to make the feathers look a little bit more like feathers. She has big giant eyes just like all of the other Funko Pops. And for Hedwig, this kind of makes sense because owls do have big eyes. It'd be nice if her beak was more of a beak color as opposed to black. It's really nice to see the amount of detail that they put into this one specifically. The line or break in between the bird's chest, which is true with, with birds, and owls Owls, the feathers on her feet, as well as the claws on the back. The feather pattern continues on the underside as well. I wish that the beak was a more orange color, but besides that, there's really not much more that I would want different from this pop. The other Target exclusive 10 inch Funko Pops are the 10 inch Dobby, which sold out very, very quickly. This is one of the first 10 inch Funko Pops that Funko released, as well as the first Harry Potter 10 inch Funko Pop. He is holding Harry's sock. He has just been freed. And of course his tea cozy, his long nose, and of course big ears. This is one of my favorite Funko Pops that they've released. He looks just like the normal version that they sell, but the 10 inch is striking and the giant head with his little body is just really cute. The next 10 inch Funko Pop that was released was the Niffler holding a pocket watch. He is still available on the Target website and I have recently seen one or two show up in stores. So again, I will put a link down below and within that link, you can also check your Target store to see if they have him in stock. All of them retailed or retail for $29.99. Dobby is gone. You can only find him from third party sellers. Niffler is still available as is Hedwig. Now you can see just how big they are compared to the size of me, but an easy way to really compare, here's the normal size Funko Pop compared to the 10 inch. You can see just how massive it really is in comparison to what we're used to. It would be crazy if Nifflers were this big compared to Wizards. Now I'm not really a Funko Pop person. I like to collect the ones that I like or the more limited edition ones, but all three of the 10 inch Funkos have drawn my attention and I'm looking forward to see what they release next. So many of you requested this review in the comments, on Instagram, I even received some emails asking for a review of this pop. I hope that this was helpful in your decision making on whether to purchase Hedwig or not. I recommend that you purchase Hedwig. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting, or anything else, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also reach me on Instagram at The Potter Collector. Now it is time to like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here.
If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?